Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. Today's topic is reversals. A document can be reversed in case of some incorrect data inputs. Now, when we post documents in FI module, at times there are errors, there are things which are done wrong, like the date could be maintained is wrong, or maybe the amount or the, the narrations or <coughs> some other things which have been put in that particular posting in, uh, document informations are wrong. So to correct those informations, there can be only one option that is to reverse that document and post another correct document in the SAP system. So if you have entered an incorrect document, you can reverse it thereby also clearing the open items and later after that a corrected accounting document can be posted into the system. A document can only be reversed if it contains no cleared items, it contains only customer, vendor and GL account items, it was posted in financial accounting module and all entered values such as business area, cost center, tax codes are still valid in the SAP system. If these things are there, then only you can reverse an accounting document into the SAP system. Otherwise, the system will not allow you to reverse those documents in the, in the SAP system. Even there are documents which are posted from different other modules because FICO module is integrated with other modules as well. So documents from sales and distribution module can be reversed with a credit memo. Documents from MM module must be reversed with, with the MM module itself in that component because if we reverse the MM document through FI module, in that case the reversal function in uh, in FI does not reverse all the values or required in the MM module. So if any document has been posted from the material management module to FI module and if we reverse that accounting document in FI module, it will not reverse all the relevant information and data in the MM module, that material management module. So to reverse those respective module documents, we need to go and have their own reversals for their respective modules. So that is something we will not be covering in this part because they are related to their respective modules. We will be covering only how the accounting documents can be reversed in the financial accounting module itself. So as you can see on the screen, there are different types of reversals. One is individual reversal. Second is reversal of reversal. Third, mass reversal. Fourth, cleared item reversals. And fifth, accrual and deferral reversal. So we'll be doing these all today in the SAP system and we'll see how these different type of reversals are carried out in the system. However, a few of them we have already discussed in the initial when we did the general ledger accounting, but today we'll be revisiting this whole types of reversals one by one. So we'll be covering today are the business transactions over here. It includes the business individual reversals, reversal of reversal, mass reversal, cleared items reversal, accurate and deferred reversal. So we generally post a reversal document in the same posting period or the same date in which the actual document was posted as the corresponding original document. If the posting period of the source document has already been closed, we have to enter a date that falls in an open posting period that is the current date in the posting date field. So we'll see how uh, this has been covered. Let's move to the first reversal business transaction that is individual reversal with transaction FB08. So any 
any any uh, financial accounting document which we post into the SAP system like uh, FB 54 GL to GL transaction posting for vendor invoicing we we execute the transaction FB 60 then FB 70 for customer invoice there is uh, F-48 for payment, F-58 for vendor payment, F-28 for incoming payment. There are a lot of different transactions by which accounting watches or postings are done in the SAP system. But any of these transactions can go wrong or a wrong document can be posted with any of these transaction codes into the SAP. So how those documents can be reversed into the SAP system? So you take any document which has been posted into the SAP system and we will be reversing that particular document into the system with the transaction FP08. So let's first find a document which I need to reverse now. So let's take a document with the FBL3N. So executing the transaction F bill 3 and put the company code over here 11 sorry 1200 and now we can execute for all the GL account without putting any GL number it will show me all the documents for all the general ledger accounts so you can see there are a huge list of numbers of document there and suppose I need to reverse any one of the document out of these which I am supposed to have posted a wrong document into the system how can we go and we can reverse this document so to reverse that document you need to select one of the, those document which I want to reverse suppose I want to reverse a DZ that is customer incoming payment document that probably I have I have posted incorrectly because of some reason so I can select that control C and now I will be going and will be reversing this particular document 1400001 so slash n or slash o in a new screen fb08 so slash o for a new session or a new screen and fb08 is the transaction code for reversing the individual document So you can have a look of the screen this is the FB08 screen even you have executed this particular transaction earlier in GL accounting so you need to put the document number over here you need to put the company code for which this document belongs to and you need to put the fiscal year in which this document was posted so if this document is posted in the current year I will be taking 2014 as a current year part now you need to put the reversal reason over here so there are different types of reverse uh, reasons already mentioned over here you can have a look of them normally the first two reasons are used for reversing the document reversal in current period reversal in closed period reversal in current period means the current month or maybe today's date I want to reverse the document with but 0 to is used to reverse the document in the same date in which originally it was been posted so if you want to post it in the same if you want to reverse the document in the same date in which it was been posted you need to take the reason code as 02 and if you want to reverse the document in today's date or today month you need to select the code 01 there are other reasons for reversals as well you can see 03 for actual reversal for actual reversal in closed periods accruals so these are not used in the normal scenarios normally what we use is 01 and 02 so right now what I will be doing is I will be taking 02 and we'll see in which date it gets reversed so if you check the document number over here this document was posted on 8 11 so we'll see that the document will also get reversed on the same date that is 8-11 you took this part you can if you want you can put the posting date as well otherwise also it will reverse it in the same original date in which the document was been posted 
if you want you want to see the document before reversing it once you can go and you can click on to this display before reversal it will show you the document preview that what is what is the transaction is all about So you can have a look that the document is referred to as the payment from a customer where the bank is debited, the discount has been debited with 50 rupee, 50 dollar, whereas 4980 dollars is the incoming uh, from the customer. So if you want to reverse the same document, you can go back. This is just to validate that I'm been reversing the same, the correct document in the system. So you can go back with the screen. And if you find that the document is correct, this is the document which I want to reverse. You can go and you can click on to the save post, post option over here. And if you click on this, the document will get reversed. So you can see now it is in the process of reversing the document. It says the document includes already cleared item, reversal not possible. This means that this particular document has certain clearing items in this in this so it will not allow you to reverse the document okay so we'll take one another document for the same reversal options suppose we take the first document over here for the reversal now we can again go and display the document over here this document was posted on 22nd of October so this is the document I can go back and now if I want to reverse this document I can go and I can click on to the post option so click on this post option over here and you will see that the document has been reversed over here on the below footnote document 1000022 was posted in the company code 1200 so this document which we have just is been reflecting below is the document which has been reversed by that particular for that original document if you want to have a look of the reverse document you can go on the header at the document and you can click on to this display over here and it will display you the reversed document what has been done So you can see that the document has been reversed and this is the entry made that the bank has been credited and the sales have been debited. Earlier the entry was for a sale, now the sales have been reversed. So if you want you can go back and check the header and in header you will find the transaction code which has been executed to post this particular document. You can see the transaction code is FB08 and even you can check that the document has been reversed on 22nd of October only the original date in which the original document was posted in the same date the document has been reversed this has been reversed when we took the reversal reason as 02 if we will take the reversal reason as 01 it will reverse the document on today's date that is 24th 11 2014 so this is how you do the reversal of an individual line item or an individual document so let's move to the next transaction as we covered the individual reversal of the document the next we will be doing is reversal of reversal the transaction code for reversal of reversal is FBR2 now reversals of reversals is used in case that by mistake you have reversed a wrong document where that particular document was very much correct so instead of going for reversing a different document probably you may miss out and you took some other document and you reverse that document by mistake so in those scenarios you can reverse a reversed document in the system so to do that the transaction code is FBR2 so we just reversed a document a while back 
and we'll be we'll be looking to reverse the same document now so we'll do a reversal of reversal with transaction fbr a enter okay so this is no fbr2 is the transaction so it is you need to put the document number over here first and the second is the company code and the third is the fiscal year so what was the document number we just did reversed that particular document was need to check the document okay so to search your document which you have reversed right now you need to go back click on to the cleared item and put today's date no okay we just reversed the document on that particular date okay so the transaction fb03 enter go to document list so over here for company code i can put the entry date that is today 24112014 and i can execute this and check so today only I have done one particular document I have posted on this date that is 1000022 this is the document we just reversed so double click on this document and you can see that this was the document which we reversed with the transaction FB08 and now what we will be doing is we will be reversing this particular reversed document now and we'll see how this second particular business transaction reversal of reversal is been done in the system so for reversing a reverse document we need to go to the transaction fbr2 enter we need to put the document number over here the company code and the fiscal year that is 2014 now if you want to reverse a reverse document you need to select this check mark over here generate reverse posting so as we selected the option generate reverse posting now you need to click on to the enter it will take you to a different screen but you can see one thing in it that all the informations have already been copied from the document of that reversal one which you selected so you can see that the posting date is same as of the reversal date the informations on below 40 posting key with the GL is already there which has been selected by the reversal document enter it will take you to the next screen where the amount of the reversal is also there in it and if you enter on the screen again it will take you to the next screen as well and you can see this was the document this was the original document where the original entry made was bank account was debited and the sales account was credited later on we reversed this document with the transaction with the transaction fb08 where the document generated was 1000022 and now we are reversing that reversed document again so that we can reach out to the to the same original document in the system so to do that this is the the entry which has been generated on the screen and if you find that this entry is okay you can go and you can click on to the post option so what happened in this case is we didn't fill anything we just put the document number that is the reversal document number by which again a reversed entry can be made and we reach it out to the original document and the corrections can be done so click on to the post option and this document will get posted into the system so this is it document number 1000023 has been posted into the system so this is how you can 
you can reverse uh, already reversed document into the system so if mistaken you have reversed any document and now you want to again reverse the reversed document this is the transaction FBR2 to do that particular correction in it if you want to see this document again you can go over here and you can go to display and you can have a look to the document again one another option is if you want to see the document again you can go to the GL master and you can check these things there as well so the transaction code is slash n FBL3N you can put the GL account and you can select the company code for them and then you can execute this report seems it's slight slow on the side so you can see this particular document and in this you can find the document number over here 1000023 is the document which has been got posted in the system so when you once you reverse a document uh, an original document is reversed what it does it 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 clears that original document from over here from the red to the green that is what happened with the with the individual reversal with fb08 and it moved from green sorry red to green part but this is the original entry again the reversed reversal of reversal done and it is standing as an open item because we moved from the starting point then reversed and again moved to the original original document so this is how your reversal of reversal document can be done in the system moving next is your mass reversal now at times it happens that due to certain reason or maybe a couple of your documents have been mistakenly posted incorrectly by in the system maybe your your mind was something somewhere else or you may have been punching wrong information or you have been given a wrong information and on the basis of that you have posted all those documents wrongly into the system so it is in case where the document numbers are more than one that is in that case all those document number can be reversed in one go in the system that is what is termed as reversing a mass reversal is all about so to mass reversal you need to go to the transaction f.80 slash n f.80 enter so you can see on the screen mass reversal of documents so you need to select the company code and if there are any document number which you know from and to range which need to be reversed you can put that document in it suppose we can go to this report over here you can see there is document 6 7 8 and suppose I want to reverse these documents so you can put these document number from here to here that from 6 to 8 these document has to be reversed and the second thing you need to do is you to put the reversal reason over here so again the reversal reason can be 01 or 02 it depends whether you want to reverse those document in the current period or you want to reverse in their original period in which they were been posted in the system so normally whenever we do the reversal we normally take 02 that is the documents should be reversed in their respective dates in which they were actually posted so we'll be taking the 02 over here as a reason code now and if you want to reverse these documents from and to then it's everything is fine the test run is already selected so normally we always execute this part as a test run and if everything is fine then we take this off and then we execute to reverse all these documents from and to range and suppose in case you don't have the range from and to but you have some ranges which are not in order they are maybe um, unsequential or maybe a couple of uh, documents are there which are in between the ranges so in that case you can go over here and you can select the document from multiple selection option as well and you can put those number one by one over here as well so 
to reverse those document you need to go to this reversal over here and you can see over here on the screen it says that the first document 1400008 is okay for reversal but the other two documents have certain problems with them the other two documents say is that the document include already cleared items so reversal not possible reversal is not possible so these last two document cannot be reversed so what you can do is you can only reverse one document from the system now let's try with a different one suppose i want some certain other documents which are not in range like i can go to on this screen and i select certain documents from the beginning like i got these documents i want these document to be reversed the first four i want these first four document to be reversed from the system that is this so i select it and i control c is copied and i go over here over here in the document number this arrow that is multiple selection click on it and now over here you can paste these documents which have been copied from there so control v and these document have been pasted now you can go to this copy option over here click on this okay so these document have now been selected for reversal so even if you don't have the range even then you can you can go for a mass reversal by putting up those as, as a copy in a multiple selection so again i am going to do the test run for these four document execute and you can see again the first two document are ready for the reversal but the last two are not possible like the first one is not possible to reverse the document financial accounting other says the document include that means these document have certain concerns with themselves because of which they will not allow you to reverse those documents so let's go and and reverse these two document which can be reversed so in case you want to reverse it <coughs> you need to take this test run off and now go to reverse so you can see over here the document has been reversed 100003 reversed with document number 100024 and the document number 100023 has been reversed into document number 100025 so these are the document which have been reversed now as a mass reversal part so two document has been reversed but the other two has not because they cannot be reversed because of their certain nature of that so in the same way if you have got a huge list of documents which you want to reverse in the system they can be copied over here in the multiple selections as a document number and then those document can be reversed into the system so this is this mass reversal is very much helpful when there are there are multiple documents which need to be reversed and you don't have to go for individual reversals one by one again and again so this saves your a lot of time and efforts for reversing these documents in the any in any organization so this is what is mass reversal is all about now moving next is cleared item reversal now cleared items cleared items we discussed earlier in the clearing topic that when there is an open item an open item is termed as a, an unfinished or a pending transaction those items are cleared against certain other documents or other items so as to get them completed like a vendor invoice has been cleared against the payment from the to the vendor so those invoice get cleared against their payments to the vendor and ultimately they become a cleared items so in case suppose i have booked a vendor invoice and i made the payment to the vendor and later on i came to know that that particular payment doesn't belong to that particular invoice that belongs to some other invoice in the same vendor which amount of that particular uh, couple of invoices are same so now i want how i can correct that 
so for that first of all you need to reset those items because the invoice has been cleared against the payment so once a document has been cleared you cannot reverse those document why because they have moved from the red that is open item document to cleared item so what you need to do is you again need to reset them so that the cleared items become open items once the cleared item will become open items then we can go and we can reverse those documents so let's move and have a look at how this has been done so for that we'll be having certain documents from vendor like slash and fbl 1n let's run the vendor ledger account i am running it for all the vendors with cleared items only or with all items all items will cover open item as well as the cleared items so as of now there is in the vendor the first vendor tcs doesn't have any open item all are are cleared items whereas in the second vendor second vendor let's see in the second vendor there are certain open items and there are certain cleared items as well so you can see these green mark are termed as open items over here to you which are incomplete transactions whereas the below these are termed as cleared items which are in green so what we suppose i need to reverse this document now that is the vendor payment kz kz belongs to vendor payment so this vendor payment has been cleared against the upper document number that is 19 1000019 that is belongs to kr that is vendor invoice so this vendor invoice has been cleared against the vendor payment and the amount is similar you can see the same amount is there but i realize that this transaction is somewhere wrong and i need to reverse this particular invoice or particular payment so for reversing what i need to do is first i need to take this clear item again back to the open item so to do that what i need to i need to reset this because you can see on this clearing document option over here that these document over here has a cleared document so when a cleared document is there that means they have been cleared against the invoice the payment has been cleared so what i need to do is i need to reset this item so i will be selecting this suppose i need to reverse the payment from to the vendor so i need to select the this clearing document number and now i need to go to the transaction fbra so for that slash o for a new screen fbra enter So seems the system is slight slow maybe some network issues or some would be there so now what you need to do is you can see the heading reset cleared items so all the clearing items or clearing document which you need to reverse you need to reset them so that those cleared becomes again the open items so you need to take the cleared document over here and clearing document means the document which is coming under the column clearing document you can see over here on the screen so this document over here is a clearing document that is what i need to copy and i need to paste over here so that is 1500019 so i took this document over here i need to put the company code then i need to put the fiscal year so the fiscal year is 2014 so you need to put this three informations over here and now i want to reset the items so take a note now that this document is 1000019 and this is 1500019 and these are right now in green mode now we are going to reverse uh, reset the document so you can go over here on the option on the top clearing and when you see, you go over here you will find the option reset cleared item so you have to click on to this reset cleared item when you click on this you will see that the system will process this 
okay clearing document you can see it comes up as a message that reversal of clearing document clearing document will be reversed you want to continue so you have to click on to yes so now you can see the system ask you for the reason so you do uh, whenever you make a reversal of any type of the documents any any reversal type you do it will always ask you for the reversal reason so i will be taking the reversal reason as 02 so that in the same original date it will it will reverse the cleared item or reset the cleared item and that will give you a better clarity because it is on the same date okay so you can see now on the below use the transaction for resetting the check payment okay so now let's move and let's refresh this particular part and see is there any changes to place or not onto the vendor okay no changes have been taking place why because this check has been allowed has been assigned a check number so we first need to cancel the check number so to cancel the check number we need to go to the transaction fch8 if you remember to cancel the check number okay you don't remember the check number so we need to check the information for the check number as well slash so p03 enter enter we can go to the environment check information we can copy this check from over here and to cancel the check you need to assign the check number over here now over here also you need to put the void check code I am reversing the payment as of now that clearing document is the payment document number I need to reverse so I need to reverse or cancel the check number as well so I need to give any reason for that so suppose I give the reason as destroyed and now I can go and I can click on to the cancel payment okay it asks you of the house bank fine so the house bank is city that is so now you can see the message cleared item being reset and you can say the payment for check 10005 was cancelled and reverse the document 170006 now we can go back over here on the reset screen and again we can reset it okay so the document has already been reset now with the documents over here and now we can go and we can check the vendor ledger refresh the report and once we re refresh the report we can see over here on the below part that the document has been reversed you can see that particular invoice has been opened up as a green over here to you so this is how you can go for resetting the cleared item so I wanted this particular invoice to be reset and it should move from the payment option as a cleared item to the open item so that has been moved from the green part to the red part that is the open item part why because the payment has been reversed over here so when the payment has been reversed that has been already in the green because it has got cleared with the reversing document now moving next same way again we can we can reset some other transactions suppose we take one for we take any one for the 
GL account for any other GL. So you can see over here there are bank accounts, there are different other accounts as well. So you can see over here that finance customers are there. And now I want to reset certain document from over here on the screen. How we can go and we can reset those. So whichever document you want to clear or you want to reverse, you first need to get those cleared item to be reset. So suppose I reset the document 170014. Suppose I go for reversing the document 170004 which is also a KA that is the payment. Okay. So you can copy it over here and then again you can go for resetting this and you can see the clearing 170004 has been reset so once you have this has been reset you can go and you can check this particular GL for this particular options that that particular document has been reset over, over here to you it is no more in the clearing part it has moved from the clearing to the open item part you can even see over here converting to the normal item so this is the document which has been converted from the from the cleared item to the open item so this has been reset now so once it has been reset now you can reverse it so you can reverse this document same with the transaction mv08 and now you can click on to this and you can go and you can post it over here and this document will get reversed okay still have got certain things so this way you can you can reset your cleared items so this is what about the cleared item cleared item reversal is all about so in this you can clear your cleared items and then you can reverse those items in the system now accrued and referred deferral reversal we have already discussed when we did the accrued and reversal uh, sorry accrued and re referral topic where we covered the accrued and deferral and recurring entries in that we discussed about that accrued or deferral is basically a kind of a pro uh, provision and those provisions had to be reversed on the very first couple of days of the next month and for reversing those you need to execute the transaction f.81 so for deferral reversals you can revisit that particular training mod session and you can reverse those documents with that so the rest is all in the reversal part has been done this is how you need to reverse the documents in this SAP system and hope you will be enjoying reversing these things done in the system you can do these practices post documents then reverse it for individual clearing then try to reverse a reversed document with FBR2 try to post a couple of transactions in the system and try to reverse all of them in one go with the mass reversal and see how those mass reversals are done for all those documents try to uh, post certain transactions with the payment and get them cleared and once they are, those be, become a part of the cleared item try to sorry try to reset those items with FBRA and reverse them and the last is accrued and deferral reversal which has already been covered in couple of sessions back in the accrued deferral and recurring entries option so you can revisit the that particular session for accrued and deferral re reversal that's it the reversal topic is over so we will be now moving next would be today's session will be over now and we'll be moving in the next training session with a new module a new topic and we'll see what will be covered in that so see you then thank you